If you've had a WordPress website for any amount of time, I'm sure you've come across something called CSS, and that stands for Cascading Style Sheets, and it's essentially how you defined uh, all the how you define all the style on your website, font sizes, colors of things, all stuff like that. These styles, and uh, there's a lot of times where you need to put some what's called custom CSS into your WordPress website. So this is like the definitive. Uh, video on how to do that. Now, there's two primary ways of doing that. One is by adding it to the code on your theme, and it's dangerous if you add it directly to the theme because if there's a theme update, then it's going to wipe out your customizations. That's why you want to do it on a child theme, and I've got a great video on how to create a child theme, and that would be the best place to put it in a file in your child theme, and I'm going to show you that. Um, there's an alternative way and you can download a plugin and this plugin will store all your custom CSS. Sometimes that might be a little easier or it might make you feel a little bit more comfortable. Now the reason I'm doing this is uh, I've got a video series called the 60 minute website challenge and um, this is one of the challenges right here. You can make this beautiful website. I provide everything for you and it takes about 60 minutes. Uh, but I, in the in this uh, blog post of mine, people have been asking questions. How do I do this? And so I say, this is what you need to add this custom CSS. So let's scroll down to one of those comments uh, from today. So I'm scrolling down here, uh, and here's someone that asked how to increase the size of the logo. And this is something done with CSS. So here's this little bit of CSS I gave him. But I just wanted to make this video so everyone that I'm saying use this custom CSS, you'll know what to do. So let's just go ahead and highlight and copy that CSS right there. Now I'm going to go into the back end of one of my WordPress websites. So here it is. I'm at the dashboard. Now uh, I'm going to go ahead here and click on appearance and then go right here to where it says editor. And I'm using a child theme and what I would do is I would go to where it says styles and I want to click on this right here. It'll say style sheet style.css and that's what you're going to want to click to. Now usually when you go appearance editor it's going to default you right into that style sheet. Now like I said if you have a child theme that's that's how you want to do this. You don't want to put this into your core theme because when there's an update it's going to overwrite all your customizations. So you would go here, click on style sheet, scroll down to the bottom. I want to uh, click at the very bottom and you see this bracket. I would hit enter and usually I like to keep it clean. I'd hit it twice and then paste. And then this is that custom CSS that I gave that individual. And this is kind of the format to make a note. So I would uh, highlight that. I might go there, go down a little more and hit enter. And then I would change this little text right here in between the slash and asterisk on both ends. And I would make my note, my custom CSS or whatever, or what this is for. Uh, so anyways, that is one way of doing the custom CSS. Let me highlight and copy that. Now you would just click update file, go to the front end of your website and the change would be there. Here's the other way. You would go to plugins, add new. And I typically put it in the child theme, but you can go right here where it says search plugins and type custom CSS. There's a particular plugin in here. I think it's called Simple CSS. Here it is, Simple Custom CSS. And there's a lot of plugins that do this. Uh, but I like to usually go with the one that has the best rating and has the most active installs. And that's going to be this one. So let's go ahead and click on Install Now. Click on Activate Plugin. And I'm sure there is a new setting someplace. Where did it put it? Under Tools, maybe? 
under appearance. Ah, there it is. Now there's a new option underneath appearance that says custom CSS. You can click on that. And this is where we would go ahead and enter the CSS. So when I click in there, I want to go to a new line, keep it clean, and then paste. And there's my custom CSS. And here's where I can make my note. What's kind of nice about doing it in a plugin like this, it can add the different color colors to the code. So you can kind of distinguish what you're supposed to edit. That's why it made this like a, a lighter kind of gray. And then this is uh, what we're modifying. And then here's this specific setting that we are uh, editing. And, and the same goes uh, right here. Here's another way of what uh, some CSS might look like. This is uh, in response to someone else. And then let me paste that. So it can be formatted this way, having everything on one line as you see right here. So you would just click update custom CSS and uh, it's as simple as that. So this is how you can, here's the two ways that you can add custom CSS to your website. And uh, remember though, don't do it to your main theme because when there, whenever there's an update, you're gonna lose it all. Do it in a child theme or do it this plugin method. Yes, you made it to the end of the video, which must mean that it brought value to you. So can you go ahead and click on the thumbs up down below? That'll help me out. And if you want more videos like this, be sure to click on the subscribe button right down below me. Now, if you want to find me on the internet, I've got a special Facebook group that I set up for people just like you that want answers to their WordPress website. And that's where you can find me, interact with me and ask me questions. So go ahead and click on the blue button down below to join that special Facebook group. Now, I never want you to leave empty handed. So I've created a free video course for you called the three steps to WordPress success. In this video course, you're gonna really learn how to make your website shine, get the results that you want, and have it really stand out from the crowd. So to access that free video course, go ahead and click on the link over here on the right. You can also find me at wpcrafter.com. Make sure you check out my 60 minute website challenges. Those are very popular and you can find those on the website as well. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I make these videos just for you and I hope you watch the next one.